Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to take a cool look at layer comps, which are really useful if you're going to store multiple designs inside of one Photoshop document. Let's see how it works. Now, if you've got a multi-layer document, you can actually keep different arrangements of those layers. In the case of this document, this is just really done for educational purposes to make it clear. But I do use this all the time when designing web page options or DVD menus, and I want to have different layers turned on, different combinations of things visible. Here's how it works. So if we call up the Layer Comps window, it'll fly out here, and there's the Layer Comps panel. And what you could do is create a new Layer Comp. And we'll just call this Look 1. And I tell it to memorize the visibility of layers, as well as their position and the appearance of layer styles. And I'll click OK. Now, that's working pretty well. And I'm going to do now is say, this is layer 2. Except I want to actually turn on a layer style here. So let's put a color overlay on top. Make this a white letter. And add a stroke. Notice in CS4, the stroke is finally black instead of red. It's the little things that count. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to actually move the top text here. And we'll put this number 2 up a little higher. And we'll add a new layer comp. Click the new icon. Let's call that Look 2. The cool thing here is as we step between, notice that the layers change visibility and the layers actually move. If I wanted to create an alternate look for Look 2, I could do that without the layer style turned on. So we can come over here and say, you know, go ahead and turn off the color overlay and the stroke. And let's make a new version here. And we'll call that Look 2A for alternate. And now we have a slight variation stored within it. Let's go to the last one here. I want to turn on number 3, turn these off. And let's go ahead and put an outer glow on the text and a color overlay. That looks good. And I'm going to move that text, put it over here, grab this number 3, put it right here, and make a new comp. And we'll call that Look 3. Now, layer comps are very flexible in that they can memorize a couple of key things. The visibility of a layer, whether it's off or on the layer style of the layer, whether those layer styles are turned off or on, or some of those styles are off and on. And remember, layer styles are very flexible. You can use a layer style to adjust opacity, change the fill colors, stroke, drop shadow, glow, bevels, lots of things. And lastly, the position of a layer. So as long as when you create that new layer comp, you tell it which properties you want to memorize, then very, very flexible. So you can step through here and see all these different options stored within one single document. And that's great if you're doing design options. Like I said earlier, you're doing a web page mock-up or maybe a DVD menu design, you're going to have lots of different subtle variations. Where's the logo on the page? Is there a drop shadow on it or not? Is the text blue or is it gold? Well, all of those things can be accomplished with layer styles and layer comps, and this really makes it easy to not have to keep track of so many different documents on your computer. You can just store different options within one file. And when you want to show it to the client, piece of cake. You can go ahead and over to the file menu and simply write these out. I could choose scripts, layer comps to files. And when I do that, it's going to go ahead and write each of these as a separate document. So you can go ahead and write that out as JPEGs or Photoshop documents. That works great. Plus, when you're done, you can actually use the Adobe Output module, which we'll be covering in an upcoming week, and you'll learn how to actually build that into a web page or a PDF file for easy review. So layer comps, very flexible. I'm going to encourage you to experiment. And once you get the hang of them, pretty straightforward. My name is Rich Harrington. Hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. I invite you to check out our resource blog at rastervector.com where you'll find more than 150 videos available for download. And of course, you can pick up the new book, Understanding Adobe Photoshop CS4 from PeachPit Press. Thanks again.